Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Oh man, do we have a fun one for you today. Now I want you to stick around on this episode because at first glance, you might think what I'm showing you is just a Jag and you're gonna be going, well, why is he showing us a Jaguar? That doesn't really fit the channel. But trust me when I tell you, this 69 Jag is so much more than just a 69 Jag. This car has been radically, radically, radically modified. I mean, like, this is a full, serious, custom build done by the guys at Vintage Motorworks. And they're here with me today, so we're gonna do some serious walkthrough on this car. I really want you guys to get an idea of how much time, how much energy, how much money went into building this radical Jag. Like I said, it looks just like a basic, beautiful blue Jag, right? Not so much, man. This car's got a V12 in it. This car's making 500 horsepower and it only weighs 3,000 pounds. I mean, talk about just a shit ton of fun waiting to happen here, right? So we're gonna do a walkthrough. We're definitely gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna probably sit in the passenger seat and uh, get shown what this car can do. So you guys ready for this? Here we go. All right, you guys, so what we're gonna do is go through some details on this car. I want you to understand how is it that about 300 grand would be the cost of building this car. It's not what they cost because they built the car themselves. Who's they? I wanna introduce you to the Vintage Motor Works guys because I love the idea that this is a father and son team that work together building cars every single day of their lives. So I'm gonna bring in Henry and his son, Nico. Come on, you guys. This is Henry, this is his son Nico, father and son team building cars together. If you were gonna build this car today, not you guys doing it, but building it for a customer, yeah. it'd run around 300 grand. The first hundred is gonna be buying two cars because you would need two cars. Right. You'd need the, the six-cylinder car and you need the 12-cylinder car. Yeah. You'd need a monocoque and a 12-cylinder So you could use the front end, part of the frames, rails go, you need to go to the Obviously the front bonnet. Car's got, starts with a six, you put the 12 in. That's right. You, you need brakes for that, so you yeah. give it, what are the brakes you on it? Put a, the Jaguar brakes, which is out of an XJS, the newer model cars. Okay. There are four piston calipers versus a three piston caliper. Right. And you said the rotors? The rotors, as we put the caliper on, naturally the spindles, they took the same bolt pattern, but they stuck out almost an inch and a half. So we were able to put a bigger rotors on, which would work to our advantage. Right. And uh, we end up putting a adjustable sway bar, we put a thicker torsion bars, we put adjustable shocks, front and rear. Fully adjustable fully shocks adjustable on shocks. So you can adjust, the, cool. yeah. adjust the right adjust the height right, yeah. and your dampening, dampening and the rebound. Yeah. Wow, okay. We reinforced the monocoque body. Right. As we were putting a V12 frame on it, I reinforce the whole firewall, make sure there is no weak points of it. Right. And then we bolt on the V12 frame, modify the floors, modify the pedal boxes to put the pedals in the right place. Modify the tunnel for fitting a 6 speed. Modify the Richmond. tunnel. The because we put right, because what's the trans on it? Uh, Richmond 6 speed. Which, what would that have come out of? Uh, that's a custom made transmission. Uh, the Got Richmond it. gear makes it. A customer comes to you and says, I want to build this car. And so you're going to tell them, budget's going to run you around 300 to do it. What's the, what's the Richmond, tra is, you know, it's a Richmond custom Richmond transmission, trans. right now, they're running about four grand. 
Okay, so it's not radical. It's not, it's yeah. not radical. Right. Uh, as far as the engine goes, the engine is roughly around uh, 20, 25,000 in the engine. Okay. So now we're getting back <laughs> up yeah, there. Getting numbers. Uh, See, these are numbers that I like course. to talk about, though, because it's... I mean, it's simple as aluminum radiator nowadays is $1,300, $1,400. For the radiator in this for car. The, yeah. yeah, just the aluminum radiator comes from England. Okay. Uh, as far as the headers go, that's about $3,600 just for the headers. Okay. Interior part, you have body parts, if you're... Bonnets rusted or damaged. If you have rusty bonnet. spots, I mean, if they sell the brand new bonnet for fifteen thousand dollar. This this front bonnet piece is fifteen yes. grand. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Raw. Okay. Yeah, raw, raw steel. You can get aluminum. Aluminum will run you about twenty five. About twenty five. Okay. And uh, it comes raw. You still got to prep it and obviously body work and stuff like that. Maybe. Got it. So you guys following me here? Are you guys kind of getting how? We quickly get up to this number. I know a bunch yeah. of you are going to freak out on this. <laughs> then we have the Weber carburetors. That's an R thirty eight hundred dollar with the manifold and the carbs. Right. Then you're going into accessories, which you have power steering pump, alternator, water pump, and etceteras. And the rear end on the car, we basically we use the stock original twelve cylinder E type rear end, and it's got the stock brakes. We just rebuild the whole entire thing with the calipers and axles and new joints right and the rear end can run you good five thousand dollar by the time you're all set yeah, and done, done okay. and powder coating things and all that right. stuff right keeps adding up you're not then, even getting into chrome or or body work and right. stuff like that that keeps on you know bringing that number up the sure headlights covered headlights at the time no one made it because this would have been this piece wouldn't be here right we would just see an exposed headlight exposed, exposed headlight with to the... do covered headlights right now they sell a kit it's thirty eight hundred dollars <laughs> at the time there was no kit so i had to so build had to it make myself because yeah. didn't you say this is lexan right yes it's lexan that's great all the marker lights are yeah, gone turn lights. signals are gone yep. but you said i know you guys won't be able to see this but you you said worked well, into the could, headlight you is you where can, you're, see can we yeah. see it now yeah. You can see that. Oh shit, okay, so that's that's a good actually turn signal. Like yeah. you get yeah. plenty of signal. Exactly. That's cool. Yeah. But there is a lot going on even under the hood. Yeah. You know, building all the linkages, a lot of stainless steel rods and finding the right linkage rods for it. Yeah. Then I'm running MSD ignition on this. Okay. But the MSD is hidden under the dash so you don't see any of it. Right. You see, where I can come from, I specialize in the Jaguars, most English cars. Okay. But at the same time, I come up from a hot rod world where my hobby was. Got it. So I kind of combine two together a lot of times, like when I build cars. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely a hot rod, dude. Like I, the couple yeah. of pulls we just did, uh -huh. you know, I mean, it's yeah, like it's, uh, you got not expecting that out of a friggin' E-type Jag, no. dude. Just <laughs> not expecting that. <laughs> Now is that a stock V12 or is no, it a... this one is a Viparsha to 5.7 liter by boring the cylinders uh, 4 millimeter over. Okay. And we order race, Ross Racing Pistons, custom made pistons. Okay. And we got uh, different rods in it. We had all balanced. The crankshaft is a stock stroke, okay. which is a 70 millimeter. So, th so these flares come from the 12 car? Yeah. From 1971 to 74, it was a 12 cylinder car, and these flares, they come off of a V12. Got it. Okay. All six cylinder cars were straight. Right. They it it looks lips. great on here. I mean, oh, yeah. it's a subtle flare, but it's, it, it really adds to the flavor of the body. What confuses a lot of Jaguar guys because they walk by the car and they see three wiper blades, but they see a V12 front bonnet, and they see V12 fl uh, flares, and none of it kind of goes together. So, because the V12 never came with three wiper blades, so that's right. kind of like the dead giveaway for most guys. Right. So this car just confuses the shit out of people that are Jag guys, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get to the Jaguar Western car shows in Colorado, and the judges were confused what they were looking at. Yeah. And uh, they gave me actually, I won a second place on that show and a modified class and the reason of the second place they took three points off because I didn't have my spare tire in it. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta love as a, as a dad 
You, you gotta love having oh, your I do. son. I'm so proud of him at the moment. I mean, it's so cool. And, and I love that I how I got to know it. you guys is because you, we met. Yeah, we met. Uh, we met at the La Carretera show, but yeah. at that point, you already knew who Autotopia LA yeah. was because yeah, you, yeah. you approached Followed me. You guys. I, yeah, I had you guys on Instagram and stuff yeah. like that. And, and is it just the two of you at the shop? Yeah, it's hard. It is. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'm not after the big money. Yeah. I'm after the quality work. Yeah. And honestly, though, thanks for, you know, I mean, it's a freaking Sunday. You guys yeah. came over. It's, it's you know, well, a few hours out of your day. I, I was I, fun I, hanging out. I yeah. genuinely appreciate it's, uh, it. Uh, always fun to meet nice, natural people. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're, uh, it's a bunch I'd much of rather people. talk to you and your colleagues than right. sleeping on the couch and right. flipping <laughs> channels. Flipping channels. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, dude. I'm, I'm stoked that we did this. I really am. I'm, I'm looking so for this. will be fun to Definitely. cut this and see how it all of comes course. together, Definitely. you know? Yeah, it's going to be cool. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for the freaking cool Jaguar, right? And how cool, I gotta say, I just, I love this father and son team. I mean, Nico and his dad, Henry, good guys. They do quality work. You know, it's rare that you see father and son happening anymore. Uh, so I, I truly love that element of what they do. And at the end of the day, I love what they built here, man. I mean, I'm, I'm just not a Jaguar guy. It's not a car that gets me fired up. Typically, I'd say if you gave me a Jag in the morning, by the afternoon, I would have it sold and go buy something that I want. Um, this car is bitching. This car is seriously cool. I mean, you saw a couple of good hard pulls and I think Henry was going mild with me, not knowing how much I could handle. Plus there's cops all around the neighborhood, but really, you know, just a cool one. And once again, this is showing you guys what it takes to bring together a full custom vehicle, especially something as sleeper as this. It just looks like a Jaguar. And yet here we are again in a car that would run you somewhere in the neighborhood of about 300 grand to build. But at the end of the day, what you got is a Jag that you can drive hard. It's making 500 horsepower. The car weighs 3,000 pounds with nobody sitting in it. And otherwise, it just looks like a pretty Jag. I mean, just really, you know, as you can tell, I'm pretty knocked out by this one. It's definitely a different flavor for me. Um, but I, I really like what these guys do. Great guys, great work. Um, so anyways, man, that's it for today's episode. As always, got to say thanks, guys. You're helping me grow this channel. You know, the numbers continue to grow and grow. So thank you so much. I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the comments. And I will see you in the next episode. All right, man. Later.